Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's Obadi Technobar, and uh, here, uh, what you're seeing now is actually a power adapter for laptop, uh, which I have already opened up, and this is all the stuff uh, stays inside, and this is the uh, main uh, power supply uh, circuit board, and which is faulty, and I was trying to repair it. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you. Uh, some details about this kit so this side uh, this is the AC uh, power socket it's the AC input 3 pin socket and on the other side you can see these two holes uh, these two holes are the connection for the output the positive one and the negative one the DC output uh, will be from here and there you can see the LED light yeah, just for power indicator and uh, well this is you can see a giant uh, capacitor here well now let me tell you that well you can see there is a white border here and uh, on this side left side of that so this side is the input section and the uh, higher voltage will be here AC voltage will be here and uh, on this side, right side of this white line, this is the output section. Uh, the 19 uh, volt output will be coming from here. So this is the basic thing. And uh, also let me warn you, this is a 450 volt, uh, 100 MFD capacitor. And uh, you know, capa electrolytic capacitor store charges so you connect to the AC outlet and then it stores the charges like around 300 volt so after you remove the AC car when you start repairing it be careful of uh, this part because uh, around 300 volt will be here or better you just uh, short this by using this kind of uh, pliers and touching these two terminals there will be a spark and the voltage will be gone so yeah, you can do that before repairing try to repair or touch this board or you have to be careful uh, at this part of this board uh, because of this capacitor so that's it and uh, from there this is a coil transformer coil and the output voltage will be here and there is the regulator voltage regulator i see you can see that and also here is a 3 pin you can see a mosfet uh, power transistor well in the most of the cases this uh, power uh, transistor blow up or this voltage regulator may be faulty and uh, tell me one more thing that uh, when you get uh, lower voltage at the output like uh, uh, 5 volt 6 volt instead of uh, 19 volt uh, the, this output filter capacitors uh, might be the problem if these two capacitors uh, start leaking or blown up or any, something like that uh, you may have uh, lower voltage at the output so these are the basic problem for uh, this power adapter and uh, the input you can see the coil there is a fuse also sometimes this may blow so you can check that using multimeter and uh, that's the pretty much basic uh, for all of it and uh, now let me show you how it was before I open it up this is a hard insulating cover that stays On this side, just like this. And you can see this pin is shoulder to this board as a ground uh, to this 
a metal casing that stays in the back of it just like that I just remove it and on the other side uh, this is the metal casing that stays uh, I'm sorry. yeah just like this it's taped up you can see that and uh, this whole thing stays in this box It's like this. This is this input, and this side there will be card coming out from uh, here. That will be the uh, DC output voltage. So that's it. Now let me show you how to open it. Well, this is the two covers, the uh, two side of the covers. And uh, they stick to each other with uh, very strong glue. So what you need to do is you need to place your screwdriver at this gap and then slowly twist it like this. You keep doing that. Uh, let me remind you that you cannot open this uh, adapter uh, box without uh, making any scratch or uh, damaging this outer cover itself because there is no screw or no other notch anything like that. So it's just stuck to each other so you need to uh, press the screwdriver in between and twist it slowly and keep doing that to the side and all the side and then it will be open or uh, you can use a hot knife and then uh, just press it down and then slowly pull it uh, it will melt down at uh, the joint and then you can open it up now one more thing that when you stick the screwdriver in between the gap don't press it too hard don't let it go inside it it may damage the parts inside of it so don't do that and uh, when you are going to buy a new power adapter what you need to see uh, let me show you that okay what you need to see is just the output voltage it's a 19 volt and the ampere 3.16 ampere so this is the output you can see there so when you buy a new uh, power adapter for your laptop you just need to check your old adapters voltage rating and the ampere rating so that's it okay so that's it guys that's all for today and uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching Bye-bye.